mean, California Republicans, I just showed you, are 30% of registration in the states because they're really stupid and racist. But <laughs> <laughs> Republicans are 82% white. You want to know why they're, this is what Jason wanted me to talk about. You want to know why they're taking them in the shorts in California? Republicans are 82% white. Use the convention. Republican Party of California, as I say all the time, on the record, in print, and on radio, and on TV, is the last vestige of angry old white people, and that's what this is. Republicans are trying to prevent people of color and people of lower income from voting by requiring voter ID. Whether or not the school bonds that were on the ballot got passed so that schools could be built, so that Latino and African American kids could go to school in their own neighborhoods, those bonds had to be approved by a bunch of old white people. What do you think? Easy to do? Yeah. Yeah? No. You have more trust in old white people than I do. We discovered, and this is generally true, the least flexible voter in America, the person who's less likely to change their mind about anything is an old white guy. Old white guys are stubborn sons of bitches. They just are. <laughs> you get into politics, you get into governments because you want you want to control you want power. You want to you know Obama wants to wants to run this country. George Romney thinks he ought to run the damn country. You get to decide who's gonna run the country. It's about power. <laughs> Al Gore won the presidency of the United States, didn't get to be president. That's power. He got more votes, right? I mean, we all know he got more, more, more votes. That's a fact. You think the Bush people did what they did in Florida for fun? The, the presidency of the United States was at stake. There are tens of thousands of people who are now dead because George Bush, even though he got fewer votes, became the president of the United States. That's a fact. All campaigns have a message to communicate to the voters. Vote for Obama because he's going to create jobs, and keep the peace, and uh, protect Social Security. Vote for Romney because Obama's all fucked up, and I got to do things differently. Okay. We talked about Prop 32 being on the ballot. Prop 32 is extremely important. It is an effort by the business community to cut off the flow of funds to labor unions to use in campaigns. So you're going to do this on your own, right? It's called independent expenditure. You form your own committee. Who are you supporting? Are you going to support the male or the woman? This is the second guy. Well, well, are you a Democrat or Republican? No, you are neither. Sorry, that's, that's this is the second. You want, you want to support? You want to support the good candidate or the bad? Take that one. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> He's a Democrat. He's a Democrat. <laughs> and no, anything else on, on Obama? No. Yes, Why is everyone going off about this binder school when the thing is irrelevant? <laughs> 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 <Maybe, laughs> <you, laughs> let, let me suggest to you that you should look through the world, the, the, the world through other people's eyes, just not your own. Hold oh, it! Thank you. Not a free for all. Go ahead. But the point, the point he was, what I'm saying is, is the point he was trying to make, which he obviously didn't do well, has been has kind of, because in his mind, he was saying things that I think people legitimately believe and wanted to hear. Fine, and he said it. Well, the point is, is people have kind of taken what he said and are not. So is that Romney's fault or the people's fault who took it? Oh, it's his way? fault, but I just think okay. that people overreact. I thought he was extremely ham-handed. I thought it was a terrible answer. I thought it was an incredibly sexist answer. I, I thought it was a dreadful answer and, and reflected who the guy really is. And we won't get into the cultures of his particular religion or anything else, but I think it's who the guy is. Do you think he offended his base, or do you think he just... No, he didn't offend his base, because his base is, the, the base is people who believe that. <laughs> what he said was consistent with his base. His base is a, is, is a conservative, older, whiter base, and he embodies that. I mean, I told you before, I, I think I told you before, I looked at Anne during the convention, I thought, holy crap, this is a country club in 1955. That's his base. It's okay. I mean, they have a right to vote. You know, they just aren't necessarily everybody who votes in this country, right? The 82% of California Republicans who are white and mostly older probably think it's great. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm being serious. Uh, because of the decision in Bush v. Gore, 
uh, and, and decisions that Al Gore made in the wake of, of that decision. Uh, the President of the United States, by a very small margin, a razor thin margin, became George W. Bush as opposed to Al Gore. And I say this um, not, not in any way taking sides, but it, you know, because of this decision, uh, you know, tens of thousands of people who might not have been killed have now been killed because Bush took us into wars in Iraq and uh, in Afghanistan. And um, a lot of things would be very, very different. What do you think he thinks? <laughs> <laughs> I think Al Gore should have the President of the United States. I think the election got stolen, that's what I think. I, th I, th I give the Republicans a lot of credit. They played very tough and very mean, and they stole the election. Yeah, That's I what I think. So you think it was a partisan decision? Uh huh? You think it was a partisan decision? Absolutely. Decision? Absolutely. I think. I think. I think. I think entirely constitutionally, entirely legally. I think they stole the election. That's what I think. And this happens all the time. People lie. You saw George. You saw Mitt Romney lie on, on TV. Anything else you want to talk about in light of the fact that we just elected a president of the United States? The Democrats increased our control of the Senate, yay, uh, a little bit in the House. And if that happens, the Democrats are in total control of the state of California. I believe we will continue to allow Republicans to live here. <laughs> but Republicans will be totally, completely, utterly irrelevant, but we don't need them anymore. They are totally irrelevant, clinically depressed. The Republican Party is increasingly the last refuge of bold, angry white people who don't like what's going on in this country.